going on everyone so today we are looking at lead code number 867 it's a question called transpose matrix um, these matrix questions can be a real headache sometimes but I think if you go step by step on this one uh, it, it, it's not too bad and it's good to know this one just know the pattern underneath it because there's another a lot of other questions that build off of this so here we have a, a 2D integer array matrix, and we want to return the transpose of the matrix. So here we can see that 2, 4, minus 1 is good. They're, they are the columns, and they're going to now be the rows. So you have 2, which is starting here, minus 10, which is he, uh, you have 2, 10, 18, and now you're going to have 2, 10, 18 on the uh, columns on the transpose matrix. So here you have one, two, three, four, five, six, and you can see now we have three, three rows with each column being uh, the rows on the input matrix. So these questions can be a little confusing. I think it's really important to map them out and think through them. Okay, so here what we're going to do is I'm going to take a look at the uh, second example. And what we want to do here is we want to create a result matrix okay so what we want to do is go ahead and create a result matrix and we want to invert the rows and the columns so what we want to do is we're going to have the rows we'll call this uh, the rows and then this is going to be the columns zero one two and this will be the columns. Okay, what we want to do is create a new array where the columns equals rows and the rows equals columns. Okay, so we're going to have an array and we're going to go ahead and create three sets of rows. Okay, that map to the columns. And two sets of columns that map to the rows. Okay, and we can just fill them and initially with zero, you know, we can just have zero, 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 zero here. Okay, so now we have our result matrix and now what we want to do is iterate over our input matrix and just go ahead and fill in the respective, the respective values. So what that's going to look like is we're going to go ahead and iterate so we can create a for loop here and we can say row is going to equal zero, row is going to be less than um, uh, matrix dot len, and then we'll increment row. Okay, and then we'll have a second for loop here for the columns, and we'll start columns at zero, where columns is less than uh, matrix at row, dot length sorry matrix at zero dot length and then we can increment column okay and so now that we are going through each one of these here what we need to do is as we go through each one of these we need to fill them up here okay and so the way we're going to do that we're just going to set our result at column row equal matrix at row column okay so what's going to happen here is we're going to get to this number here where our row is equal to zero and our column is going to be iterating from one to two zero one two when we get to this second for loop here right and we're going to go ahead and set this to one this right here to two and this right here to three Okay, then we're going to increment over here in our outer loop, and then we're going to go ahead and traverse through these numbers, and we're going to fill them in here with 4, 5, and 6. Okay, and that's what we're doing on this line right over here. Okay, so what is our time and space complexity uh, for this approach? Well, our time complexity is going to be O of n squared, because we're going to have to iterate over over um, over both of these uh, arrays 
Okay, so whatever the length of the array is, we're going to have to iterate over the inner array. So it's going to be, uh, it's actually going to be O of M times N. Okay, so that, that can reduce down to O of N squared on time. And then what about space complexity? Well, we have to create a linear amount of space dependent on how big the input is. So we can say our space complexity is going to be O of N. Okay. So let's go ahead and jump into the code here. So first thing what we want to do is go ahead and create our result uh, matrix. And this is just going to be array dot from. And what we want to do is have it the opposite. So we want the length to be, this is going to be the, the rows, to be matrix at zero dot length. Okay, and now our columns is going to be a new array and the size of that array is going to be at our matrix rows and we can just do a dot fill of zero. Okay, so all we're doing here with this line of code, let's remove this const here, uh, all we're doing here with this line of code is creating this second empty grid here, okay? And then what we're going to do next is we are going to have two for loops. Uh, so row is going to start at zero, where row is less than matrix.length. And we're going to increment row. Whoops. And then we're going to have our inner loop where column is going to equal zero, where um, matrix at zero dot length, and we'll increment column. Okay, and now all we have to do is update our result. Okay, so we can just do result at column row is going to equal matrix at row column. And then all we do is re uh, return that result. Okay, whoops, let's see, result, R-E-S-U-L-T, uh, let's see, of undefined, ah, where column is less than matrix of zero dot length. There we go. And we have success. And we got pretty good performance relative to the, the submissions. OK, so that is lead code 867, transpose matrix. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you all on the next one.